All right. Here we are at World 4. Let's see what this world is all about. Welcome to Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Not to be confused with Jolly Roger Bay from Mario 64. This is very different. So this world is a pirate, like, seaside port town, which is actually really cool. And it has some of my favorite music in the whole game right here. Now, this world is kind of interesting. This world is basically two parts. This seaside town is the first part, and then there's another part, which is like an underwater world. And I know what you're thinking. Underwater worlds tend to suck, but this one is better than a lot. Having said that, I would say this world is one of my least favorite in the game, but I still love it. The underwater part is definitely good for underwater, but it's still not that great. Anyhow, let's explore the town. So there are a couple of these weird stones you can see on the floor. We can build drill them. This is a doubloon! They are the only currency that is accepted in Jolly Roger's Lagoon! So there's a new currency to collect. These doubloons are scattered around town, and we're gonna have to pick them up if we want to be able to do stuff around the town. Yeah, fun fun. Mumbo Skull is right here as well. Which is very nice. Also, this part of the song right here is my absolute favorite. Absolutely beautiful. So if we have if we use this shock jump disc, jump out of the pit, we still do not get close to enough height to get up there, which seems interesting, but there is a solution to that. There's a warp pad right here, let's pick it up. Maybe we can tell on trot on the roof of this place. Sure can. <laughs> that chimney... He doesn't actually have a real chimney. He just made something that looks like a chimney and then painted the top black so you can't fall down it. I'll collect the notes. We're not going to go inside just yet, though. Turtle View Cave this way. Sure. Oh-ho, the jackpot. We got four doubloons here and a jam jars silo. Sure, let's get our new move. We need only 265 notes. It ain't happening, lady! You need to get rid of Lardy Boy before you learn this one! Fair enough! So that's a move just for Kazooie, so we're gonna have to find a split-up pad and then come back here later. Also, you can see for these bars here, there's a new part of the lagoon that we actually can't reach just yet. It's a small area, but we got a nice little pool. We've got a, um, guy with a club. And if we zoom in, hey, it's Tip Top! With an egg. Oh, also, um, his graphics are glitching out a bit. <laughs> so this is what our way cave words like, hey, look at Tip Top, isn't he funny? And there's a cave over there. But we can't actually get through the bars, and how you reach that area is actually very unintuitive, and took me a long time to figure out. But this is why you guys have me. Alright. We'll pick up some more doubloons here. There's a mumble pad right there. Nice. Twelve doubloons, me hearties. And, um... Oh my. <laughs> that is, uh, not a very nice looking swimming pool right there. Yuck. That's not good. Hey, little piggy. Help us sort out our pool, Mr. Bear! What's wrong with it? Looks fine to me. <laughs> we want to go swimming, but the water is polluted and icy cold! Hmm, this one might take some time. Banjo's not kidding. This is one of the most infamous side quests in Banjo-Tooie. This game, I've mentioned before that there are quite a few side quests where you have to come back after learning, after going to a future world and learning a new move. This side quest here, you cannot complete until you reach the final world of the game. And this is only world four. Yeah, you've got to do a whole lot of stuff to solve their problem. And, um, that is a free-armed pig. Please fix the pool! Pickles pushed me in the other week, and look what's happened to my arm! Well, I didn't want to say anything. Thanks. I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Freako! 
Okay, well, don't go swimming in polluted water, otherwise you're gonna grow a furred arm, apparently. <laughs> Banjo doesn't care about that, though. I mean, there's money at the bottom of this pool. <laughs> And the funny thing is, even though it's, like, polluted, and there's, like, toxic waste being spilled in, uh, you don't have any penalty for swimming underwater here, other than losing air like you would in any bottle, bottle body of water. Alright, come on. Give me the doubloon. Give me the doubloon. Come on. Thank you. The Vane's Banjo does for a little extra change. Yeah. Gross. You know, I feel like the water being- you'd think the water being cold isn't that big of a deal. No. Heating up the pool is the long part of this mission. The swimming pool water is still horribly polluted and way too cold for me and Trotty. We got Piggles and Trotty, eh? Hurry up with the pool! I think I can feel a third leg starting to grow! Ugh. Rare, I know you've got a dark sense of humor, but, like, that's a little much. Anything over here? So, there are two pipes here. The lower pipe is spilling out the toxic waste, and the pipe up there, there's a hollow honeycomb piece up there. But it doesn't look like anything's pouring out. Interesting. Hey, it's Jollies! Let's pay a visit to Jollies, shall we? Welcome to Jollies. Hey, dude. Ooh. Oh, hello there. I'm Jolly Roger, town mayor and proprietor of this lovely Harbor Side Inn. Ah, uh, we'd like a ginger beer, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than Jolly at the moment, as my partner has gone missing. That's a shame. Now, how about that drink? Kazooie? Oh, sorry. Uh, where did you last see her? She was out on a wave racer early yesterday evening. I heard a big gulping noise, and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea demon. Oh, I hope not. It's happy hour soon, and I'll be needing some help. <laughs> Would you like to rent a room? It's half price at two doubloons as this naughty mole has dug a hole in the corner of it. How about it? I love how Jolly absolutely has his priorities in order. He's like, I hope my partner wasn't eaten by a sea monster, because I need her to fill in for me at happy hour. It's like, not because he actually cares about her life or anything. Um, let's say, no, nah, I don't want a rodent buried in my room. That's a shame. I was hoping you'd deal with that rodent rascal. Sorry, Jolly. Let's see what's on the menu. Special, uh, today's special. Salty dumplings for $3, Toad in the Hole for $4, and Sea Man Surprise for $5. Toad in the Hole is actually apparently a legitimate thing, like, in Britain. I think it's like... I probably won't gonna get this one. I think it's like, it involves egg and sausage, and maybe toast. I don't know, if there are any Brits watching this, you can fill in for me what the heck a Toad in the Hole is. It's a funny sounding name, though. Let's pick up the notes over here. There are all those ginger beers. Let's check out the room Jolly's talking about before we actually buy it. It's this room right here. And we can actually see inside. And yep, the rodent that buried in is Jam Jars in his silo. So there's actually a new move in that room. Alright, Jolly, we'll buy the room. My partner still hasn't returned, you know. Would you like to rent a room? It's half price at two doubloons as this naughty mole has dug a hole in the corner of it. How about it? Aye! Okay, big boy. Show me the money. Lovely. I'll just open the door for you, okay? Wow, he has the force. Cheers. But how can you possibly sleep while my partner is still missing? That- I don't have I don't have any eggs in that basket, bro. Sorry, but... Tough luck. Ah, oh, this is a lovely little room. We got... <laughs> I love this bed. It's so springy. <laughs> it's fantastic. Boin? Boin? But more importantly, the floor is dug up, and there's a 275 note move from Jam Jars we can learn. Sub Aqua Egg Aiming. When in the water and baddies attack, this new move will let you shoot back. Press up C for the aiming sight, followed by Z to start a fight. That'll be all. 
Dismissed! Wow, I'm having him hit that hatch a lot. Good thing goodness this isn't a speedrun, because that actually, like, speedrunners hate it when that happens. It wastes a couple seconds. So this is literally just, you can now do first-person egg aiming while underwater. Again, I'm not sure why this really needed to be its own move. It should have just been kind of bundled with the regular egg aiming. But this will now let us attack underwater by shooting eggs, which is very nice. And that's, that's one of the reasons why this underwater world is actually pretty great. Because you can actually attack underwater, which is not very common. Oh, what a lovely fire here. Youch! Okay. Yep, it's it's hot. What happens if we shoot a nice egg at it? Nothing. Rats. I'm afraid our jukebox is broken at the moment. A real pity. I just love dancing to the salty sea man shanty. Perhaps you'll find a way to fix it. Yeah, that's, that's, this right here is an interesting side quest that we can fix, but not until very, very close to the end of the game. It's pretty cool, though. And if we go in this room, it's a poster of Treasure Trove Cove from the first game on the wall. And we've got these treasure chests here. And we've got a pirate, and not just any pirate. If you'll remember, this guy's face was on some of the portraits in Mad Monster Mansion from the first game. There's also a poster of Shark Food Isle risen to the surface uh, on the wall. And there's also a photo of the inside of Shark Food Isle with the pink egg in it. Stop and swap references. What's up, bro? Avast there, you scurvy dogs! I be Captain Black Eye, fearless pirate and scourge of the sea! Uh, you're looking a tad wobbly there, Blackie. Just a touch of seasickness, you filthy rats! Seasick? <laughs> Some pirate you are. Watch your ton, buzzard! Shiver me timbers! These seasick tablets Jolly gave me are mighty useless! <laughs> so, um... Fun little, uh, like, development gag here. This guy, Captain Black Eye, was originally going to be an antagonist from Banjo-Kazooie back when it was just Project Dream. Before they had finalized on Gruntilda, he was going to be... I'm not, I'm not sure if he was going to be the main antagonist, but he was definitely going to be one of the main antagonists. And Banjo kind of replaced him, and now he's now an Easter egg in Banjo-Tooie, which is funny. <laughs> Splice the main brace! One more press of that var button, and I'll run you through! <laughs> What if I push B again? Right, I'll slit your... Oh, me poor stomach. Just take these doubloons and fetch me another glass of water. A pirate after me own heart. Yeah, he gave us two doubloons, which is pretty great. Arr, I had a dream once. <laughs> again, reference to Project Dream. He fell over in his seat. Oh, no. A bear stole me glory! Looked a bit like you, he did! <laughs> All these meta jokes. Alright, well, I don't think you ever actually need the two doubloons that Captain Black Eye gives you, but they come in handy and mean you don't have to collect all the rest. Alright, that's everything we can do in Jollies for now. There are a couple of other places to explore. For example, right here, we've got Pano's Emporium. Buy, sell, <laughs> and trade. Alright, let's, let's check out this place. Pano's Emporium. Oh, hey, well, we've got a jiggy right there. We've got some notes on the wall. <laughs> We got the Grunty plushie from the second prize of the Fiery Furnace from the first game up there, and a Globo on the wall. And who's this? Who's this guy? There's also some eggs here we can collect. Greetings, friend. The name's Pano. I'm the local pawnbroker. Oh, uh, we're interested in that jiggy in the case. Ah, uh, yes, a real nice piece. Circa Banjo Kazooie, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be a fair price. 20 doubloons? We only want the jiggy, not your whole shop. <laughs> I only have 16 doubloons. It's still 20 doubloons for the jiggy. 
Would you like to buy it? What do you say? Nah. Well, if you change your mind, you know where I am. So that's where- this is the main thing we need our doubloons for. Let's pick up that globo on the wall. We could have used the globo we got from Iowa Hags for Mumbo, but here's the globo for- globo for this world. At least one of them. We cannot afford to buy the Jiggy yet. We need to collect a ton of doubloons. Actually, only four more. Alright. So, here's also something that took me a while to figure out. So there's this nice little, like, pedestal in the center. It's like a giant stone treasure chest, which is the monument of the course. It's hard to read, but I believe it says Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Well, as it turns back, it turns out at the back of it, there's a bit of a crack. Which, when you see a crack, shoot a grenade egg, and it'll blow up the monument, and there are split-up pads here. Which are actually going to be useful. We're going to split up, and if you'll remember, there was that Kazooie only move in the Turtle View Cave. Well, we're going to get that. And another thing we can do, once you blow up in the Shock Jump Disc, if you're just Kazooie, the Shock Jump Disc will take you up a lot higher than if you have to lug Banjo up as well. So that'll give us three more doubloons. Very nice. Alright, let's get this new move. Wing Whack. You've lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them around by pressing B. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. That'll be all. Dismissed. So now we actually can attack as Kazooie without shooting eggs by doing this wing attack. It's pretty nice. It also gives us a little more aerial momentum. Pretty useful, that. And I do believe that's the only thing we really need just Kazooie for, for the time being. But those split-up pads are there if we need them in the future. So now we're going to Talon Trot on the roof of Pano. Nothing actually there, though. Rats. Ooh, forgot to drill this. And there's a shock jump disc. Excellent. We can use this to get up to the roof and then quickly Talon Trot, and we can get on this roof without sliding down. Which is very good. There's a shock jump disc up on this fake chimney that they painted on. We can use that to get up here, and there's an edge we can grab. Now, we need to watch out for these snapdragons. Now, if we turn the corner, be careful, because you can see there's a green snapdragon hive down there. Always be mindful of those. Anyhow, we can edge all the way over here to this this top pipe here, drop down, and we get ourselves a hollow honeycomb piece. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump and then hover, and hopefully land... Nope, not even close. I thought the secondary pipe was right beneath the other one. It is not. Well, one thing we're going to do, we can actually jump hover over here onto this pipe. And this pipe up here is cracked. If we do a build drill, we can break it open and fall inside the pipe.